Congressman Ron Paul joins us out of the gates for his analysis, his breakdown. Uh, the congressman from Texas, of course, a presidential candidate who sent shockwaves through the political system, the controlled left-right paradigm, is with us for the next 20 minutes to break down what we're facing. Uh, congressman, uh, are you uh, feeling the dread that many of us are uh, feeling right now? Yes, I do, but I don't think it's brand new. I didn't wake up with it. I've had it for a while. I don't think the election was a surprise, but the rhetoric is getting pretty strong, and they are getting very bold. I think McCain was obviously backup candidate in case something happened where Obama didn't win. They'd have been okay. They'd have been satisfied with uh, McCain, but uh, they've been uh, positioning uh, Obama for a long, long time. Uh, you know, he's a man of the people. And yet he was the first guy to spend, uh, you know, uh, more money than anybody else. He probably spent more money than everybody else put together in these last two years. And and that was, uh, you know, on the books, it's about $750 million. But when you look at all the free stuff and you look at all the things that have gone on in the last three or four years, I consider the fact that he's probably had a $2 billion campaign. But we have to realize this started a long time before he even announced uh, to be president. If any, anybody who would have gotten that much favorable coverage for so long, uh, you know, you know that the plans are laid for him to be the the individual that is going to be taking care of the corporate elite. Well, he's the guy uh, who helped ram through the banker takeover bill, and, and now what you predicted and others predicted is happening. They're openly announcing the end of the dollar, a new Bretton Woods, a new world monetary system run by a small group of private international banks. We will buy our carbon credits from them, and Barack Obama is signaled that he will do whatever they say. Yep, and I think there's no no doubt about that. He wouldn't be there if he didn't uh, toe the line. And, uh, you know, when the meeting starts on November 15th for the uh, new monetary system, uh, this could be, uh, you know, the beginning of the end of, uh, of of what we see as what's left of our national sovereignty. Uh, I don't know how long it will take for their announcement. I guess the meeting starts on November 15th, uh, and it won't be November 16th. I think it will be a little while before the announcement is made and before we fully understand it. But I, I think the fact that the markets are relatively calm right now and the dollar has not totally crashed, is all being uh, orchestrated by all the central banks. The message is out that the dollar is doomed. They can't keep doing it. But I think temporarily they've been able to hold it together. Uh, but something something has to give. And it's on the business news station now. It's not just your radio show and others talking about it. I was watching a business station yesterday, and they were very, very up. Stiglitz was on. I guess you've heard of, heard of that guy. He was on very much bragging about this thing, you know, about a new world reserve currency and world regulations that means world government and it looks like it's coming rather rapidly right now that's right he we played the clip yesterday he said over the banks over the stocks over every nation a trilateral world currency everything the trilateral commission announced in the 70s everything we warned people about and obama is saying he's going to give us change but the change with class warfare is robbing the middle class and transferring it all to the multinational corporations. You know, I, I guess you saw, heard a statement by Sarkozy from France. He said that uh, we want to reform capitalism. But our president, you know, came right back and he says he's all for this world summit, but only on one condition that we not tamper with the free market system. <laughs> and, I thought, and, they, and people believe this stuff. <laughs> you know, they, they just listen to that and it just goes over their heads and it's so sad. Congressman. I've been interviewing a lot of international experts, uh, in, in, by the way, including Sticklitz, who's pushing all of this right now. Uh, and they are saying, yes, the big announcement that Powell's talking about on the 21st or 22nd of January will be uh, devaluing the dollar uh, and basically announcing a new economic order run by the very people that orchestrated all of this. Uh, but uh, other uh, world leaders are saying it's also going to be economic uh, 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 implosions and military adventures. Pakistan, uh, what is this huge event where they're naming dates but then won't tell us what it is? Well, they're just getting us prepared, and they are doing the planning, and they're they're in charge. And unfortunately, the people get distracted. I I consider our election this whole past year or two is just a distraction, making everybody think. 
boy, this is really critical. This election means everything. You know, if we don't have McCain, uh, the world is going to go to the dogs or vice versa. If we don't have Obama, we're not going to be able to take care of the people and the poor are all going to suffer and die. And, and it's, it's all orchestrated to people, so people are misdirected from the important issues of war and peace and money and the Federal Reserve and, and the business cycle and all these calamities that are going on. Uh, so they don't want us to know, and and by the time we do know and figure it out, then it's so hard to reverse the trend. You know, it's sort of like the Patriot Act should have been defeated before we passed it. Once it's passed, it's really tough to repeal laws like that. Congressman uh, Powell is saying the 21st, the 22nd. Others are naming that date. Um, you're there at the Hill. Uh, you know, you're closer to the inside of the actual workings of power than the general public is. Uh, I mean, have you uh, heard anybody uh, who has inside knowledge about what the crisis is, or is it going to be the announcement of the New World Order? Well, I think it's going to be an announcement of a new monetary order, and they'll probably make it sound as very limited. They're not going to say this is world government, even though if you control the world money uh, and you control the military, which they do indirectly, uh, they, they do control the world. They're mainly interested in controlling the money and natural resources. And uh, right now it's not in the hands of private property owners. Here in Texas, you know, we, we develop natural resources pretty much by private property ownership, and, and we all survive rather well. Well, but compare that to what happens in Alaska. But what happens when it's a world central bank, worldwide regulation, and world control of, uh, of, of, the, of the whole system of all of all the uh, of all the commodities and uh, all the natural resources? Uh, what else can you call that other than world government? And it's going to be controlled by the very financial institutions that orchestrated. The controlled crisis, and, and they're openly saying, for those that don't know, and I'd like the congressman to comment on this, uh, but these IMF and uh, World Bank chiefs, the <clears throat> head of the International Bank of Settlements, Treasury secretaries, others, uh, Fed chairman, are saying that we will pay uh, different stock taxes, different derivatives taxes, different uh, you know taxes on the stock market transactions, and there's going to be world carbon taxes that you buy from this group of banks. I mean, that is total control, and as Barack Obama said, he's going to bankrupt the coal industry that gives us 49% of our power. This is the neo-feudal model. 